Revolution cage fighting returned to Monmouth this past Saturday, headlining Monmouth's own Danny Connerly. For some fighters, Saturday night at the Armory was the biggest night of their careers, Eric Shelton being one of them, as he earned the flyweight title in a split decision over Shane Curry. Logan, the nice guy, Hickerson, was one of the premier fights early on, taking several big hits early, but he eventually got the submission for the win over Wes Markley. Kyle Tate versus Monmouth's Dustin Rowe won the Fight of the Night award, with both fighters landing huge blows. Rowe came out with the victory, but not without a broken hand and a bloodied eye. Ten seconds. Danny Connerly took to the octagon for the main event, facing off against Tyler Roberts. Roberts came out of his corner, landed a huge kick to Connerly's face, and not long after, slammed Connerly on his back. Uh, that rattled my brain a little bit. <laughs> that one hurt a little bit. Uh. Connerly clinched the armbar almost out of nowhere to end the fight in his favor. 30 seconds. Um, you know, I, we're a huge grappling gym. We do a lot of, you know, ground games, mission type grappling. Uh, and I'm always looking for arm bars. Like I told uh, the guy I just fought, they're everywhere. Arm bars are everywhere. So you just got to find them and you got to find where they're at and pick one up. And that's what I did. And I'm an accounting business major. So I put in tons of time with the school. And between that and 25 hours of training a week, I have no time for anything, barely sleep.